Today, we're going to be getting another Plague Diamond by getting our M82 Gold Viper. And this has probably been commented and requested by a few of you guys, but it has not reached top comment. This is one I just want to do on my own. So as you can see right here, my M82 is only level 49. But if we go over to my camos, I was trying to level it up earlier and get a little ahead of my crits, but I might have gotten a little ahead of myself and we are completely done with crits. We're done with grunge. We're done with brushstroke. <laughs> we're done with vintage. We're done with fauna. We're done with topo. But we we don't have infection unlocked yet so we really only need to get our infection camo done but we still need to level up so this one might be a little shorter i got a little carried away trying to get you know this thing leveled up to get little crits on it that way i wasn't just struggling the whole video and it take forever ended up getting a little too much done but the attachments i'm going with today are the iron sights for the muzzle i just have the stabilizer on it for the barrel i got the tiger team barrel for the body i'm putting on the ember sighting point grip is the bruiser grip the mag we have the nine round mag handle is the speed tape and the stock is the SAS combat stock also going in with tesla storm and since i'm doing this on my own this is the weapon that i've chosen i'm gonna go play on maori de totem since it's the only map we haven't played on on this series so let's go ahead hop in and see if we can get this gold all right here we go flying into Mauer. I have not played on Mauer in a long time, actually. Not since Forsaken's come out. And that's a shame because this map is actually really good. I think it just came out way too close to when Forsaken came out. And Forsaken's also a really good map. But I think this map is going to be basically forgotten when people think of Cold War. At, le at least as of right now in recent history. Like I said, it did come out extremely close to when Forsaken came out. Like maybe a month, not maybe a month and a half. I could be wrong, but we waited six months after Firebase to get a new map. This came Came out you know I, I loved it i played the hell out of it but then we got forsaken right away it's like it, it kind of stole its thunder we didn't have time to really enjoy this map let's go ahead and grab our loose change let's see if i can remember how to play it actually it's been a while open this up and climb on down but i got some pretty unfortunate news guys i don't know if we'll be able to, uh, to get dark aether before vanguard comes out i know i was a little ambitious starting this i probably should have started it a little sooner i didn't think about it until late so that's on me but unfortunately uh this wednesday the wednesday before vanguard comes out there's gonna be some people doing work on, on my house they it's some electrical stuff so my power is gonna be out the whole day so not only am I already on a time crunch trying to get this done, but I'm also not going to have power, not going to be able to record anything, not even going to be able to uh, sit and grind weapon levels or camos even off stream, off camera. So it's really unfortunate. It's something that's completely out of my control. I, I, I can't reschedule it. I didn't even schedule it in the first place. It's it, it just really, really sucks. But at least we'll be getting one of the hardest weapon classes to get Plague Diamond on Plague Diamond today for a second time in our cold war zombies career but i'm 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 honestly i'm pretty bummed that, I, that i'm not gonna be able to get this done so i was planning on just like streaming the entire day trying to grind as many weapons as we can because i think smgs are gonna be our biggest hurdle because we have five of them and none of them are leveled up so i was just gonna stream leveling them all up maybe even getting camels for them maybe even getting gold viper on them during the streams but it's not it's not looking possible but that's not to say that I'm going to completely throw away this series once Vanguard comes out. I, it might go on hiatus. We might pause it for a bit. We, we don't know how Vanguard's going to be. Like Vanguard could be horrible. Vanguard could be great. Like We just have no idea. But I, I'm not going to close the door completely on me ever trying to get Dark Aether on this account again. It could be a fun thing to do for streams once you know we're we're in the swing of things for vanguard i don't know just just no i'm not i'm not giving up on it it's just very very unfortunate timing but we have to somehow level this gun up to 50 and get all of our jackrabbit medals now i haven't played on mauer in a bit i think last time we played on this i might have been getting the zrg dark aether so a kind of kind of bad memories here but that we do have a little bit of sniper experience on this map and i think the, the i think the m82 just is you know miles and miles better than it let's go ahead and try to get power on i forget there's trains here we have to cross fast yeah we didn't get hit we survived can we survive right here actually i actually don't know we need to keep moving just cannot stay still with this gun i've been using this weapon a lot obviously since i've been leveling it up and you see i have all my crits done already what i've noticed with it is it's not as you know i i thought a semi-auto sniper would be a lot better to do than like the swiss or something even though the swiss is a lot faster like ads and like shoot to fire time than a lot of other snipers i don't know i kind of wanted to challenge myself but not challenge myself too much but what i've noticed with this gun is it has like a, a shot buffer like it's like an input buffer and if you guys don't know what uh buffering is if you guys played games like smash or something where you you put in an input and doesn't come out right away and you put another input in after it so if like i'll shoot here 
if I if I'm pulling the trigger too fast, it's like the second my shot is done firing, it already loads in another one. So I've seen a lot of the time it'll just fire off another shot that you know I wasn't expecting to do. It kind of like wastes a bullet. It's not that big of a deal. It's obviously on me not timing my shots right, considering this is the only weapon I've had this issue with. But it's just a little a little frustrating when this thing only has nine bullets in the mag and then it's like automatically shooting another one when I'm trying to get like crits and stuff. So that's my one gripe about this gun. But we might as well grab Shatter Blast. I think that'll help us. Zombies get back. What we got in here an Aether tool. Pick it up, please. And while we got a second, this is what the first pack of punch camo looks like on the M82. Very cursed. I doubt many of you have seen this thing with the Mauer pack of punch, but here you go. Really like the Mauer pack of punch camo. So I, this was the first map to bring in its own unique pack of punch camos in this game. So I'm very happy to be seeing them again. Let's go ahead, pop this open, head on in here. Oh, wait, we need to do this the loose change and throw on the power is peck gonna yell at us oh no dr jaeger for some reason like i i know peck he has dialogue on this map and he shows up on this map for a whole month when mauer came out i did not see a single peck voice line i would i would watch other people's videos i'd see him talking in there he was not showing up here so that's i think that's like confirmation that peck is aware of our existence and he is avoiding us on this map if i'm forsaken he'll he'll come out and talk and all that like the, like the little bitch he is but I don't see him very often here on mauer also did i not see a tempest up top i'm pretty sure i'm supposed to get a fuse from a tempest but we're up top not a single one spawned maybe we got down here too quick i'm gonna go back up oh there's a scare package let's go we got a flamethrower and armor that works oh yeah i never walked in this building what's up tempest goodbye give me that fuse please and oh, we get this loose change from jug while we're here all right let's pop this door open oh wait we are too broke oh 1420 weed uh oh Get out of here. All right, we have enough to open the door now. Let's do that. What's up, Tempest? Goodbye. Give me that fuse. Let's open this scare package. I'm Tesla storming. What do we got? A bronze chalice. Come on, give me a silver one. We got carpenter. We'll rack up a few kills here. I think that's enough. We should go turn on power once this train decides to leave. Okay, let's go. Let's put in our fuses. Throw that baby on. And we got power. Oh, there's another scare package. They're actually giving us a lot of scare packages here. What do we got now? Cryo. Level one armor. We'll just take the armor and go. I grab the loose change from this. I did. But can we just appreciate? how nice elemental pops machine looks even down here in the low light it's just glistening set up the rope i wonder if they ever fixed the rope glitch in this game where you go down that rope and you get stuck go ahead and spawn disciple come on out this was still one of the coolest pack a punch reveals and like enemy reveals in this game it actually looks beautiful too very glowing red very vibrant colors and he's already gone we broke the seal and we're already pack a punch so we don't really need to do it where do we go now if you guys didn't know my first round 100 was on this map. This map is actually probably one of my favorites because of the Cerberus. It's Wonder Weapon. I think the Cerberus is one of the coolest looking Wonder Weapons like we've seen in this game. And it's I, it might be the best. Let's grab Deadshot just because that's a necessity here on controller for me. But we got our first round 100 on this map. And then immediately after it took away our calling card, like there was a, there was a title update and it just snagged away our round 100 calling card. We just recently got it back on Forsaken. So so that was cool. Uh, we, we did a big stream on that if you want to see that. It It'll probably be linked somewhere in the video but man i i, I can't tell you how just like frustrated i am with uh with everything going on over here just the the fact that i have no control over, over whether or not my power is going to be out for an entire day while we're on a time crunch leading up to the release of a new call of duty just trying to get this series done is just it, it's beyond frustrating so i'm sorry if my mood's a little off in this video guys but at least we'll be able to walk away from this video with another plague diamond and when we eventually come back we'll be able to just get dark aether pretty simple because it's just going to be SMGs, shotguns, uh, melee special, LMGs. Actually, LMGs might take a little bit. But we have, we have like, the... What's it called? The Viking share? The whatever share of, of, uh, of the camo is done already. All right, what perk do we get next? I think... Unless we're just having fun here, we don't need crits. Let's just get elemental pop. Let's check what level... Okay, so we're only about not even a quarter of XP away from getting level 50. And then we can start unlocking camos to get this thing gold viper. I'm surprised I'm actually surviving up here with the M82. I guess it is only round seven. Rounds have gone by so slow on this map. I feel like that's why I like Forsaken so much. Because this map and Forsaken, probably my top two maps on this game. And then Firebase after that, just because that's probably my most played map on this game. Because that was the best for grinding camos for a long time. Or at least the, the safest, easiest way. And then I, 
I honestly, I put D Machina last, but that's mainly because I didn't play it as much. I didn't start playing zombies at the start of, at the launch of this game. But I, I know, I know you guys are definitely gonna disagree with that. I think D Machina is the most popular map in this game, but you know, uh, to each their own. Can we afford another perk? We can. Let's go ahead and get Mule Kick just for that ammo boost. Any zombies want to spawn? Any? Come on. There we go. Maybe I should have done Rampage Inducer, but I know that would have gotten out of hand real quick. We have to play two games. There we go. We're at level 50 now. Now we can start unlocking camos. And the camos we need to be unlocking are Jackrabbit Metals. So we just need to not get hit. And we'll fly through these. Right now, it's pretty simple. These zombies are way too slow. Come on up, zombie. Go on. Okay, what are we getting now? I think we should get Speed Cola. There's one Jackrabbit Metal. Uh-oh. I don't know why that zip line is so touchy. I, I barely even hit my reload button and I'm flying away. We need to go back up so we can continue these Jackrabbits. Let's see if I can Shatter Blast them. Nope. No, I got hit. All right, it's not happening again. Oh, it almost happened as I was saying it. With those quick reactions. But I am not going to get hit again. This video. There's corrosion camo. We're going to fly through these. Oh, of course, Shatter Blast goes off on the one zombie that's up here. And not on a zombie that's climbing up. Hey, can we afford another perk now? We can. Let's get Death Perception. Literally getting all the, like, unorthodox camo grinding perks. I guess Death Perception isn't unorthodox, but just having Deadshot, Elemental Pop, and Mule Kick before getting Jug or Quick Revive is kind of crazy. Also, that Panzer literally just got dismantled. Could not even get over this little, this little bar. I almost forgot Panzers were on this map in the first place. I'm telling you. It's been a long time since I've played this map. I think I've played the most rounds on this map, maybe. Or at least most rounds in succession. I think I tried round 100 on here a few times. One time we died on 80. Actually, I think we only tried it twice. We died on 80 and then got 100 the next attempt. On Forsaken, I got all the way to 96 and died. And then we got round 100 on the very next attempt. But the worst part about the whole power thing happening on a Wednesday is that Wednesday would be the day that I'd try to record and crunch everything in so that the videos go up Thursday before Vanguard comes out because even if I record something Thursday and I get it done on Thursday, I'm not going to have the video edited, uploaded, and you know ready for you guys to see before Vanguard drops. So it'll be like old news by then. So it's just stupid that, that things got to work out like that. But you, know, you can't say we didn't try. We got pretty pretty far into this camo grind in one week so i'll show the stats for this account when we're done with this uh this weapon so i think we already have over a day worth of game time which is pretty insane if you ask me i've been grinding we even found like a really really crazy way to level up our weapons super fast like it's been a lot of fun hopping on here with like my camo knowledge that i have now and just redoing it all it's like hopping into fifth grade with you know everything that you know like current if, if current day you went back in time to you being a, a 10 year old you'd, you'd fuck shit up and that's kind of like what we're doing with these camo grinds we got 13 k let's get phd we actually have more money so i'm gonna get a revive why not oh, our first jack-o-lantern and it's a mimic of course get out of here are mimics even supposed to spawn on this map i don't think so right i think there's maybe like one boss mimic that spawns for whatever reason but i don't think mimics normally spawn on this map so with with the halloween update which is probably going away soon since it's now november we're never gonna see mimics on the machina or Maurer again. Actually, probably on Maurer because of the boss one, but that's beside the point. But you guys know what I mean. No, we got hit. There was a jackrabbit in my promise. Come on, reload a little faster. As long as you stay right back here, we should be good. Also, let me inspect this again real quick. Check this out. You see the size of this bullet? That thing is bigger than like a forearm. Caliber of bullet that is in this should never, never hit marker. But if it hits a jack-o-lantern, it basically acts as armor and you, you can't one shot with it sometimes. Like watch. Okay, well that one don't count. That one didn't even do full damage. A bullet this large, I don't care about health cap. I don't care about, I don't care that the zombies get more health. I don't care how much it damage a weapon does how resistant these zombies are to, to bullets there should never be a situation where a bullet the size of an arm does not completely obliterate somebody and also we just jumped down and took fall damage so i think that takes away our uh, our jackrabbit which is unfortunate we do have another jack-o-lantern what's in it shatter blast in a war machine I don't really need it. Oh, we got a brain rot zombie. Let's go. Keep him away from me. I will say this map does seem a lot laggier than Forsaken does. Like I can see, I, I can almost count the frames with my eyes. It's very unfortunate. We do have a silver chalice. Let's grab that. This is what the Pack-a-Punch 2 camo looks like on the M82 here on Maurer. Very nice. I think Maurer has probably the best set of Pack-a-Punch camos. Forsaken's is nice. You know, the originals on, on D-Machine and Firebase are okay. But Ma Maurer has, has a 
down right. Uh-oh, this is starting to get difficult. They're getting to me a lot faster. Here, let's Tesla Storm. Trying to knock these guys out. Ooh, max ammo. Very helpful. There's our glitch camo. We're getting very close. Reload, please. What we got? An Aether Wrench. We'll take that. We just now got this to blue. We got a Pack Punch 2 before we got to blue. Kind of crazy. I'm definitely going to miss being able to have like Pack 2 or even Pack 3 by round 21. Having the gun all the way legendary, having like a death machine from the ground and only needing to spend my money on perks. The one thing I wish is that they just leave a game mode similar to this Halloween update. Like when, whenever Cold War is over, like whenever Vanguard comes out, because it would be so nice to come back and play this and have the option of just accelerating gameplay like you don't have to grind to get set up you'll just be set up and ready to go also i forget that this map has tormentor rounds oh my lanza get away tormentor rounds are a little difficult with this m82 actually Jeez, i can't get a shot on them before they blow up i think i probably killed one that whole round that absolutely just botched any jackrabbit we had going but that's all right i hear a panzer you gotta spawn up here you spawn in down there yep. there's our boy Get away. Oh, we just three shot at him. It dismantled. Uh-oh. I'm gonna stand right here. You zombies can stay back. They're still hitting me. Gotta reload. I should really buy stamina up so I don't take that fall damage. I have an idea, actually, to get an easy jackrabbit. So this is what we're doing with the ZRG. We're training them all up. This gives us enough time for our shatter blast uh, to cool down. That way, the, our next shot will be a shatter blast. We go up the rope, and we're going to grab stamina up just because we're up here. And now that they're all starting to climb up, they're all grouped together like that. We jump down behind them, take a little shot, and then Shatter Blast does the rest. I don't think we have Shatter Blast tier 5, so we could have gotten way more kills there. That's still a nice chunk out of just one shot. And Shatter Blast does count towards your Jackrabbit medals, which is nice. Now, it's probably too late to put in this request, but for Vanguard, I wish they did not have critical kills. Like, critical kills, they're not difficult. They just take so long, and they kind of limit the ways that you can play. Like, if I still had to go for critical kills right now, I could not even have Elemental Pop on. Like, you can't use any of these ammo mods. You can't use, like, certain field upgrades because they're just not efficient or they do not help you get the kills that you need. Because crits are always what take the longest to get if your weapon's, like, all the way leveled up. Like, every single time crits were my last camo to get. Like, I'd, I'd rather them be like, oh, get, like, 1,800 kills or 2,500 kills with ammo mods on your weapon. Like, I think that would be more fun and significantly faster than just doing the same thing, but you have to shoot the zombie in the head. What's up, Disciple? Get out of here. All right, let's just train a bit, wait for these zombies to spawn, and then we can shatter blast them into oblivion. Oops, I just PhD'd them into oblivion. All right, up the rope. That tormentor still almost blew up on me. On zombies, go ahead, jump up so I can jump down and shatter blast. Let's go. We'll do the same thing here. Normally, the first shot of your round is always going to be your ammo mod shot, as long as you play your cards right. So let's go ahead and just train them up and do the same thing. Let's just try to get Plague Diamond on these as fast as possible. Now, I could just shoot them while they're on flat ground here for Shatter Blast, but I feel like I'll, I'll get way more kills if they're climbing. While they're climbing, they seem to bunch up and like clip together because they're all doing the same exact animation. And that way, they're so close together that Shatter Blast is guaranteed to get a few kills. Let's climb up, wait for them to get up here. Okay, there we go. We got most of them climbing oh that's huge instant jackrabbit metal there oh and there's sniper's diamond let's go we did it gold viper on the m82 and now our snipers are plague diamond i wish we just had a little more time before vanguard came out so we could easily get dark aether again it would be so simple let's just take these guys out while my tesla storm is going and we'll go until the first exfil hey look we got a level 51 What's in this? Give me a Cerberus. I want to use the Cerberus again. Let's grab some Gersh's because I'm going to be needing those later. What's up, Panzer? Get over here. Where are you running to? Where are you going? Okay. That's weird. I shot him in the head and he ran away. Oh, welcome back. I think I gave him a concussion. All right, we got like the whole round's worth of zombies trained up here. Let's try to Shatter Blast. Oh, that only got a few kills. Shatter Blast Tier 4 and Shatter Blast Tier 5 is just miles of difference. Shadow Blast Tier 5 is just extremely goaded. Tier 4 is still good, but Tier 5 is just... It's like eight times better, at least. Let's even get a nice flat ground Shatter Blast going here. I'm going to make sure they're all well trained. And let's do it. That was pretty good. That was really good. And the Tormentor Blast at the end. Okay. That was kind of nice. I think we got at least 20-something kills there and just one Shatter Blast. That's what I'm saying. In normal camo grinds, 
you won't even be able to use Shatter Blast. I mean, you can, but that's just gonna make getting Gold Viper a lot. Like, it's just gonna take a lot more time to get Gold Viper because all those kills that you just got with Shatter Blast were, prote were potential crits that you could have had. Oh, uh, we get a dog round as our last round here. It doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get the Cerberus before we expel, which is a little sad. I just wanted to see it one more time. Get out of here, Tormentor. Is that all of them or is there one more? No, that was all of them. Time to exfil. Let's get out of here. Oh, the repel worked. Wow. Didn't have to pause. What's up, Klaus? Watch this. I'm about to make Samuel cringe. I just sent a shiver down his spine. Let's start the exfil. I'm only going to use the Gersh's if I have to. Actually, that's a lie. I just like using Gersh's. I'm throwing them right down the second I get up there. Oh, I'd never even open this up. I feel like this is my least open thing on this map. The second I get power on, I get Pack-A-Punch. I am just sitting up by Wonder Fizz or down in the electrical room. Let's go right up. What's up, zombies? Shatter Blast. Ooh, Shatter Blast did a number on them. Get this loose change because I can. All right, let's Tesla Storm and then throw a Gersh here. Enjoy that. Let's take out the Disciple. Yeah, what are you going to do, Disciple? There's like a black hole right here. Nothing. You can't do anything. No zombies left. Let's throw a Gersh into the sky. Perfect. Let's get out of here. This is still like the weirdest X fill though. Prevenchko hates you, yet you're still in Mauer to take down Valentina, but he doesn't want you to leave, but also he will fly you out in X fill. Like it's, it's so weird. Anyways, it took us 663 kills, 314 crits, no revives, no downs. Get our snipers, Plague Diamond. Anyways, let's go ahead and put this back to the default scope and check out what these camos look like. This is what Gold Viper looks like on the M82. Kind of disappointing, honestly. If you have a sniper and you're not putting the camo on the scope, I don't know what you're doing. Like, it could be so easily applied to the scope, but they just don't do it. But here's Plague Diamond. Plague Diamond is real nice. This is looking clean. All the metal aspects of it are that nice purple metal. The rest are those glowing diamonds. And then this is Dark Aether. Dark Aether, a little better than Gold Viper because it actually goes up, covers that, that big handle up top near the scope. And it goes all the way down towards the actual grip of the gun too, where in Gold Viper it does not. But anyways, let's go ahead, hop in game and see what these things look like in there. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you my combat record so far for this account. This isn't the last time we're ever going to be playing on it. We'll, we'll be coming back. I just don't know when, but this is my stats in the last, how long have we been doing this? Like a, a week? week and a half. I've played for one day, 10 hours, 57 minutes total. Six and a half of those hours were multiplayer me trying to level up weapons until we found out that outbreak weapon leveling thing. And in zombies, we have a day, four hours and 20 minutes. We already have 38,000 kills here, 107 elite eliminations, 21,000 crits, which is pretty good. Uh, our top weapons are the Pellington, the XM4, and the M82, which we just finished getting. I think the, the AK took us the least amount of kills to get Gold Viper, which is pretty cool. I think this is the weapon that we leveled up the most prior to joining in and playing. And then the Krieg, Tundra, QBZ, FFAR. It's cool that all the weapons here that we see are the ones that we've gotten Gold Viper. So we got a decent chunk done. And then here with the 1911, I'm pretty sure ammo mods count for kills with the 1911 as I have not even used it on this account yet. But now let's go look at what those camos look like on the M82 in game. All right, this is what the M82 looks like in Gold Viper. Uh, like I've said in previous videos, the coverage always looks better in game than it does in the Gunsmith because, you know, it's right up there in your face. It does have a huge body for it. So I guess the coverage isn't too bad. And with the nice lighting, it glistening, it, it's all right, but still probably the worst mastery camo in this game. But let's go ahead and see what Plague Diamond looks like. This is what Plague Diamond looks like on the M82. This thing is beautiful. Just completely encrusted in diamonds, that nice purple metal on it. Man, I really wish I would have just used Plague Diamond a little bit more, but I was on such a rush to get the Dark Aether that I, I just completely avoided using it. I was like, okay, we got Plague Diamond. Next class, let's go. But this looks really nice. Very good camo. I hope they have similar camos in Vanguard. I hope they don't go with the boring old like chrome type beat, like where everything just looks like default weapons. But yeah, we went ahead and unlocked our second Plague Diamond of the series, knocking out probably the hardest class to get in zombies. Maybe not the hardest, but the most time consuming. But for now, I think that's where this series is going to be on pause. And notice I say pause. It's not going to end. We will, we will eventually come back and get this done. But with the whole, my power having to be out for a whole day and Vanguard being right around the corner, it's, it's just got to go on hiatus. So I, I can't apologize enough for that. It's completely out of my control. But with that, we're going to have to end the video there. If you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please start to subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.